Hi guys, again, uh, it's me, uh, Kuya Aloy. Um, today's vlog, uh, we're I'm thinking about doing a prop, and uh, I'm thinking about being hostile. No, just just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to be hospital. Uh, hospital. No, I'm not going to be hostile. Okay. So uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share you a little bit of uh, information about the prop that I'm going to uh, do right now. Okay. Now this one is like uh, we're mixing old school and new school right now. So let's begin. If you remember, if filthy knows, right? Do you have this um, uh, bamboo cannon? Right? It's just like in short, kawayan. Yung kanyon nagawa sa kawayan. So our forefathers uh, only uh, like uh, put hole on that uh, in, in in that uh, bamboo, and then they uh, put kalburo or kalburo counting gas, ipan, pag nilagyan nila ng ano pa. As soon as they lit it up, it would explode. Just like the ordinary cannon. So it's a uh, Filipino tradition, a traditional um, um, bamboo cannon. Now, uh, nowadays, 20th century, uh, most of the uh, youngsters was able to uh, develop like uh, the word boga. So B-O-G-A, boga. PVC. It was is it is made of uh, PVC and uh, tin cans. Uh, they spray alcohol in it. They, they put some a little bit of air and then they use a uh, cricket. No, no, not that sound that you are hearing right now. The cricket. Uh, the uh, lighter igniter or ignition system, something like that. It's just small like that. And then if you press it and if you touch the the wire, good luck you'll get jolted <laughs> all right okay so uh, it's also a loud it, it makes a loud sound as well just like the um, uh, bamboo cannon of the old days but now I'm thinking of mixing those two into uh, one concept um, I'm thinking about doing a uh, rifle musket now, um, what is a rifle musket? Well, actually, the rifle musket is a smoothbore weapon that was used in uh, the United States. Well, just a little bit of uh, history. Uh, the uh, Crimean War that started 1853 to 1856. Okay, um, there was the uh, first widespread of the uh, use of the rifled musket. Uh, for commonly for the infantry man so you can see the rifle musket in movies like the Patriot of Mel Gibson um, also in the, uh, the Last Samurai of um, Tom Cruise favorite actor okay so uh, those those are the movies that you can see for or how the rifle musket works uh, of course it works like you aim you shoot and then you put bullet or um, what you call this? Bulitas, okay, like a marble in it. You put gunpowder, put marble, and then you uh, use a uh, iron rod to stick it in. All right, and then you s switch the hammer, cock the hammer, and then aim again. Boom. Here in the Philippines, we call it teka teka. Uh, if you bam, teka teka teka, <laughs> something like that. So uh, again, uh, this. Without further ado, let's get it on, okay? Hope you have a
Alright guys, hi. Uh, ito na po yung uh, finished product po natin ng uh, rifle musket. After <laughs> after all these years, <laughs> literally years, dahil uh, last December pa po itong project na to, ito po yung, ano, yung finished product after uh, painting and uh, test drive, or test fire as well. Ito na po siya. There you go. Okay. Ito yung So, we go compare po ninyo yung height. Almost. <laughs> Almost ka height ko po siya. So, ganito po yung totoong rifle musket na yung kapagano siya kalaki talaga from uh, Civil War. Okay? Yung Crimean War na sinasabi natin way back uh, yung sa, sa United States na Civil War. Okay? So, um, right now, we will go into test fire this. Okay, so kung magkataka kayo kung saan nalagay, kung paano ito testingin, okay, so ito, kung makikita po ninyo, again, dito po natin ilalagay yung uh, denatured alcohol. So, gaganyan na siya. There. Ito yung spray yan. So, mayroon na po akong uh, pang-spray ng uh, denatured alcohol. So, pupunta na lang po dito. So, mamaya itatas po natin ito. Bawal po ito gawin indoor. Okay, mga bata? Alright? Um, everybody, guys, if you're going to test this kind of a project or props, actually, this is at a live one. Okay? Don't do this at home. Please. Alright? Now, the bullets are in this hole. Oh. This compartment. There. All you have to do is just uh, simply uh, get one, get one and pass. <laughs> so yeah. I'm so excited about testing this baby. Alright? actually firing two shots lang okay we're going to fire two shots uh, for safety reason uh, we are in a residential area and gun ban lapit na po kasi ang election election is almost near okay so we're not allowed to have this this equipment to be outside or else I'll be in big trouble okay here we go Kind of a bit nervous though. Here it goes. It actually worked. And there's a bullet. Wow. I'm surprised. Let's try another one. Put a marble ammunition. This one here. Okay, loaded. Okay, lock and load. Try in a hole.
All right, three shots. Wow, it actually worked. <laughs> I'm surprised. There's a good idea, There's a recoil sensation. It actually worked. All right, guys, there you go. You were able to uh, see uh, it was effective and it is working. I was also surprised. This, you know, this is the first time that I I created this. Um, also, this is also the first time that I tested it. It's very nerve-wracking. Okay, the sensation of the of the uh, recoil, something like that. It's very priceless. And I hope you liked the uh, video, though, and you learned something. Again, don't try this at home if you're going to do this. All right. Please be more careful on uh, building this, especially this is the fail-safe. You have to make sure that you have a fail-safe mechanism if you're going to uh, build a what we call um, a boga in Tagalog or uh, this rifle musket, okay? Again, and I do really thank you for watching these videos. Please do share, um, like, subscribe for those newbies here out there, all right? Again, this is Kuya Aloy. And you have a great day, okay? God bless you and uh, bye bye bye. Peace.